Welcome to Rant Homestead! to Red's homestead. 28 degrees in the middle of April. It's cold. So our little injured chick is doing pretty good. She's chowing down all day yesterday, chowing down now. So I think she's gonna be just fine. She's not showing she's not showing any signs of distress other than not moving. So she'll be a survivor at least for a few days and then the inevitable. Making friends with the neighbor's chicken. It's getting more comfortable with me. Not even my chicken, but I'm feeding it. Since it wants to hang out here. <laughs> so it turns out we have another broody hen, but she's not on the eggs that often, so we'll see. Leave her alone, get her some food and water. And we'll just see what happens. So I don't think she is a, oh, we got a bird's nest. Bird just flew away. Um, I don't think she's broody. I think she's just laying her eggs over here. Maybe she forgot where home is because those eggs are ice cold and she just laid another one and then left. So, I don't know, free breakfast. I don't know where she is now. Probably wandering on her little adventures of the day. Anyways, we're building an arbor, or I am trying to, out of sticks.
Yeah, all they need is just extra water. Of course, it helps that we have this mulch. We'll need to definitely put more mulch in here. So right. That make a What's up, Quackers? It's a huge step from them running away. Mm-hmm. Now, if I move, I'm sure they'll run away. Right. <laughs> we're getting there, oh. aren't we, my friend? So we're going to check out what Shannon built today. Ugh, what I tried to build. Her attempt. That thing's a monster. It's not done. It's well, huge. You have to be able to put... That's true, I have to be able to walk yeah, under so it. So it, it called for, and, and I swear, I was like, I didn't have enough sticks. It <laughs> calls for seven foot long of these, which you see, I finally brought the nails out, and that didn't go very well. <laughs> see if I can walk under it. Yeah, it's a little upside. <laughs> I need your expertise. <laughs> eh? To help it me works. get it to stand up straight and um, to be more. Um, I would secure it with rebarb. Well, that is the plan, but first I need to move it to where I want it, but I also need yeah. to add more. Like it had these brace joint thingies that I was supposed to put on, which I started to. I was struggling, man. Once, this was easy, this was easy, that was easy, that was easy. Flying's not really working for me. Once I had to get the roof on though, I started in the barn. That was a mistake, because it's taller than the barn. Taller than the barn, yeah. <laughs> but Chris was no help, so. Okay. No, I think though with some rebarb, I think some to secure it, it'll probably have to go get. They'll have to buy it, like get four foot rebarb or something that comes yeah, high up on it. Three foot. Three foot, and that'll keep it straight up and yeah. down like this. I figure because you... you're when you're building with sticks, you're never gonna have something square, well, and it's leaning because it's not square, and you have yeah. like this log or something maybe thicker than this right. log, so the weight is gonna be. You know, different. Basically, I'm, I'm waiting for you to finish it with me. Okay. Well, uh, tomorrow is my last day of work before I'm taking a vacation. I haven't had a vacation since September of last year. Yeah, and then we have two so. days of processing the chickens, which the first day should be yeah. all the work, right? For the most the part. Day, you just stick them in the freezer. Bagging it. Yeah, bagging yeah, and all that. Sense. So, yeah, got a busy week coming. Oh One more day. Okay, though. My tomatoes, though. Mm. My magnolias, same thing. Unfortunately, it looks like I'm gonna have to spend money this year on tomatoes and buy some uh, some starters because I was hoping that coverage is gonna work, but you know it dropped down super super cold. They looked like they were okay, but it was by the afternoon. That's when I started seeing these. Some of the flowers that I had planted that I didn't move. So that's junk. Although this one might survive. Well, I think. But I think this one will survive. This one may or may not. This yeah. one, this one, this one will probably survive. The rest are probably done. Which might be a good thing because after we were sitting here thinking, this is probably the wrong bed to do the really heat loving, sun loving Maybe plants because that farthest one. Right. They'll need to be in this farthest bed right here. Reason being is sun comes from over here and goes over the house so at about what four o'clock three three four o'clock if even less yeah, less than that that bed right there gets no more sun and i didn't think about that that's where i should be doing my lettuce that's where the cold kind of lettuce. yeah that's where we can probably get the longest time out of the lettuce uh, just trial and error anyways because never grown here before so i think that's it for the day Adiós.